Hey Fox, today it's about the blur device inside Bitwig Studio. And the manual of Bitwig says that it's a device that consists of two comp filters uh, for the left channel and the right channel. But to me, when I use it, it sounds more like that you have two delays for each channel. Um, you have your delay feedback and you have your delay uh, time. So what you can do with it is basically um, put the sound through, delay one channel, and create some sort of stereo effect. And as you can see, my initial state when I load up the Plur device, it's a bit different from yours maybe, because I put everything to zero and to one millisecond delay time, and then I'd right click on the device and then I use um, the save as default preset option here. So every time I load up this Plur device, I have exactly the state. And in this state, uh, the sound is not altered except for just one millisecond delay. Um, and there's basically no um, audible uh, difference. So every sound you put through it. So there's not really much difference if it's on or off. And this init state allows me to just load the blur device inside my chain and then I delay one channel and have one nice simple um, stereo effect. Uh, this effect is maybe too much for all of the use cases, so you have to mix it with the rest of the Bitwig uh, devices. So in this example here, I'm using the delay 2 effect and I have one Blur device inside the feedback FX container. And the delay 2 device already creates some sort of stereo image by delaying the left and the right channel independently. So by applying the blur device, you can create some sort of micro steps between the delay steps of the delay 2 effect. So um, you have your delay steps and the blur device creates micro steps in between. I'm pretty sure if you create enough um, blur device inside the feedback container here, you can create some sort of um, reverb with the delay. So maybe try it out. Um, Another um, use case would be to use it, of course, inside a reverb device. And here I'm using it on the wet FX to um, widen up the wet signal of the reverb. That's okay too. And another thing would be to use it inside the FX2 container just to widen up the image on the higher frequencies. or to combine all three together. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to create nice stereo effects with the Plur device of Bitwig. And like all Bitwig devices, they are itself pretty simple 
and easy to use, but when you combine them, they are really powerful. So don't be shy to do that. Um, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something and I see you in the next one. Bye.